a red hot fighting Irish squad who have won eight straight out of conference midweek action on a Wednesday as they take on the Central Michigan Chippewas. Out of the game. Here comes the one two. And she gets it. Strike three. Goberly goes down swinging, and Becker strands a two out base hit. On that first year and figuring out what Notre Dame softball is. In the air to right field. Valamont under it. Makes the play, throw comes home, it's well offline, and Notre Dame strikes first, the sack fly. Scores Jane Cronenberger from third. Be big to get Sammy Mills, sees it turned around here. She's a senior who started in every single game this year. She goes down swinging, a strikeout in every inning so far for the freshman Shannon Becker. What they need is a base runner. They haven't had one since the infield single from Leah Hanks back in the third inning. This one's in the air, deep out to left field. And the Irish are back in front. Brooke Marquez goes deep, her second home run of the season. Outside of conference play in the MAC. Just getting them ready to compete, try to win the MAC this year. So we're going to miss strike three, second punch out for Tid. Eight up, eight down. Loss sets up for the one, two. Outside this time, gets the swing and a miss. Back to back punch outs and a perfect three innings out of the bullpen for the senior Peyton Tid. The corner infielders in. One run game on the ground, base hit through the left side. The Irish double up the lead on the RBI single from the freshman Jane Cronenberger. Certainly been the one inside the circle, the sophomore Grace Leto. In the air, deep out to center field, playable for Tolmy. She's under it, the throw is gonna come all the way back to first, a sacrifice fly, plates, plates Karina Gaskins, and it's 4-1 Irish, their biggest lead of the day. And still eyeing that strikeout. And she gets it, strike three to end off the game. Win number 23 in a row for the Irish. 12 up, 12 down. Perfect in relief for Peyton Tidd.